The curtain rises for the 23rd Winter Olympics right here in South Korea tonight. The opening ceremony in Pyeongchang starts at 8 p.m. local time. That's 6 a.m. Eastern in the United States and 11 a.m. in the U.K. It's the second time the Olympic cauldron is lit in the nation, the first being three decades ago at the 1988 Summer Games in Seoul. Our EG1 is standing by for us at the Olympic Plaza in the host city. And even here in the capital, the anticipation and excitement is reaching a boiling point. I can't imagine what it's like over there, but do try and describe it to us to the best of your ability. Daniel, we have about two hours to go till the opening ceremony of the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. And uh, there are already a lot of people gathered around the venue feeling and enjoying the Olympic vibe. Yeah, the city is really different. Yeah, it's like a crazy day here. It's a lot of people and a really good atmosphere. It's an amazing day. It's nice to see so many people from so many countries together. We've been preparing for this Olympics for a really long time. And now the day is finally here, I'm really thrilled. The weather's also improved a lot, so I don't think it'll be too cold for the spectators either. The seventh Olympic opening ceremonies in my 13th Olympic Games. So uh, it, for me, it is always the, the beginning of the energy of the Olympics. So I'm excited to see how Korea builds that excitement this evening and expressing its culture and its history as well as its future. To tell you more about today's opening ceremony, it's going to unfold with the journey of five children searching for answers to peace, featuring Korean legends and history, as well as a flurry of performances that will showcase South Korea's rich culture. The two Koreas marching in together will be another moment to remember. After all, that other, after all the other 90 participating countries enter the plaza, Team Korea will come in under the unification flag with the Korean folk song Arirang in the background. And as it has always been for the previous joint entrances, there will be two torchbearers, one from each side. Gold medal hopeful bobsledder Won Yun Jong will represent the South and the women's ice hockey player Hang Chung Gum from the north. The ceremony will also have a large VIP audience with President Moon Jae in, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in attendance, as well as North Korean leader Kim Jong un's sister Kim Yo Jong. All right, Ji Won, the highlight of the opening ceremony is, of course, when the Olympic cauldron is lit. Could you perhaps give us some details about how the historic moment will take place? Daniel, the lighting of the Olympic cauldron is still very much being kept under wrap. We still don't know who the final Olympic torchbearer lighting up the Olympic cauldron will be. The word is uh, the f legendary figure skater Kim Yo Na could be the final torchbearer. The gold medalist is also one of the delegates who brought the Olympic flame from Greece to South Korea. But there could be a surprise. The two Koreas have lit the cauldron together back at the 2002 Asian Games in Busan. Now, wrapping up the 101-day the one journey of the torch relay with the final bearer, a total of 7,500 people will have participated in covering 2,018 kilometers in and out of 17 cities and provinces in the country. And on its final day today, the torch was carried around Pyeongchang by well-known figures, including the IOC President Thomas Bao, former UN Secretary General Pan Ki-moon, and movie star Jackie Chan. Now, that's it from me for now, uh, and, but I'll be back with more. And before leaving, uh, for those of you who will be coming to the, uh, the opening ceremony, do bundle up and wear plenty of layers uh, to keep yourself warm throughout the ceremony. Back to you, Daniel. Thank you for